even though toner doesn't have a shelf life, I still like to rotate the old stuff to the top of the pile. So I use that first before I use the new stuff just to keep, keep the stuff fresh. It's gonna be a busy day, working on a mailing here. I'm running the last batch of 2,000 books here that I started to bind. Thing's been running like a champ. It's been running for basically the past four days nonstop. And we have some 2,000 brochures I'm gonna be running on here today. This brochure is a double parallel fold which the customer supplied to me ready to go. Whenever that happens, I like to print just three or four of them and test to make sure all the dimensions are correct before I run them all, which I did. So I gotta figure out whether or not I wanna try and fold these on the desktop folder here or uh, fire up the MBO. I'm thinking the MBO might be, might be the way to go. Okay, so this mailing gets a right angle fold, half fold both ways. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up and then we will do the double parallel fold on here after we take the right angle off. One thing I do to save myself a little bit of time, uh, typically I, I do two folds on this right angle. I do half and half uh, and then a right angle accordion fold. So rather than changing between the two, uh, the accordion fold uses the top two plates. And if I wanna fold an 11, 17 and a half, I use just this bottom one. So I don't have to change any measurements, um, but I just have to close my, uh, my diverters here. just a little bit of a line here looks like it might be in the magenta so I just printed out test sheets yep so I'm gonna put my money on a dirty corona wire I don't think that's in the drum before I open it up, I just want to look at the counters. And somebody actually just asked me this, so you, now you'll actually see it. Utility, stop zero zero, stop zero one. And then you go into your counter data, parts counter, one, charging corona. And well, it looks like we're probably about due for a new corona wire for magenta and definitely black as well. Uh, cyan's relatively new. You know, I'm just going to put two new wires in. Especially that, that one that's over 200. So this is going to be a good example of why it's good to keep paper records. And you can, can see back here uh, in March, I did magenta and black drum. Uh, so the wires weren't replaced, so they were past due, but in between I did yellow and cyan drum and wire, so we should be all good to go now. I've been keeping paper records for each machine individually, just, just so I can see what's going on. That's better.
I was just getting ready to run these and uh, started hearing some noises that sh I shouldn't be hearing. This belt finally failed, but I saw it coming. I mean, it's my own fault. I guess it was last year uh, that I replaced uh, the drive belt in the back and the feeder drive belt. And I knew the days were numbered on this one, but I thought I'd see how long it would go. Well, this is how long it'll go. So I'll get that on order and make sure I bring you guys along when I throw a new belt in there. But now I guess uh, we'll be running these on the desktop folder. It's kind of nice having more than one folder. Looks like that'll probably be next week's video. It's about 112 bucks, depending on where you get it from. Uh, so I ordered that, that should be here next week. And cause I need to keep this thing up. I have a whole bunch of paper I need to perf and I'm gonna use this to do it. It's the end of the week already and well we just got to call it quits here I got a couple unfinished jobs here tear into the MBO next week replace that belt bind a whole bunch of books thanks for watching see you next week